Canadian turn one begins with gusts blowing northeast. Their HMG fires and reveals a 658 SS squad with an LMG. It gets ready to fire with no result. The western base fire takes their positions and in the east the first battle line is created. I expected the SS plan was to keep concealment and delay the Canadian advance. However, they decide to reveal their MMG and its half squad and 9-1 leader to oppose the Canadian base of fire. A 658 and its hero are revealed, take a shot, and pin a squad. A counter assault moves. The entire Canadian assault section retaliates against the SS squad and its leader, breaking the squad. However, both bases of fire are ineffective. Canadian turn 2, the main goal is a successful pincer movement against the SS in G6. The broken SS squad is rallied. Prep fire phase, the bases of fire are ineffective. However, an excellent shot reduces the SS squad. Two squads and a leader attempt to. Nope, both squads are broken and the leader withdraws. An excellent shot by the SS MMG as it breaks two squads of the base of fire. The final SS squad is revealed for a shot against the broken Canadians, but they miss. The Canadians safely route to their rally positions. The pincer movement begins. SS turn 2 not looking bad for the objective, but G6 may be overrun shortly. The Canadians are successful in their rally attempts. An uneventful prep fire phase for the SS. The hero and its half squad attempt to get back to the objective to avoid being crushed next turn. A long shot pins the half squad and the leader continues leaving them behind. Defensive fire phase is ineffective. The Canadians are almost halfway into the scenario and they're almost to the objective. Their main obstacle in the future will be the street crossing. This could be made better if the base of fire manages to pin slash break any of the defenders. However, that building is big and made of stone. Tune in next whenever.